Joined today by Baker University head football coach Mike Grossner. Coach, you guys number three again this in this week's poll. Um, now you'll take on Missouri Valley, a team that has the same record as you in the Heart South. Um, big game coming up this week. Uh, let's talk about your opponent and the ramifications of this game. Yeah, you looked at the schedule at the start of the year. You kind of, you know, however we went through the north and what happened, we knew the south is where it's at from a standpoint of making the playoffs, winning a championship. And you knew it was going to probably run through Moval, uh, going there and having to win a game. And then we knew, you know, you look at the schedule in Mid-America and then, you know, the end of the year, two two road games. You got to finish the year at Evangel. Always a tough place, but it's come down to it. We're both three and zero in the South. Uh, we've got to go over there, which is always a tough place. In thirteen, we went over there and won in overtime. Clarence Clark with a fifty-nine yarder to get us to overtime, and then a fifty-two yarder in overtime to win it. How how the heck we ended up with a fifty-two yarder in overtime uh, is, is very difficult to do. But he hit the kick. And then uh, last year, conference championship here against Moval. Uh, you know, we throw two pick sixes, start the game. Defense hasn't even been on the field. We're down 14 nothing. Come back. It's uh, tooth and nail all the way to the end. And, and we ended up turning the ball over. And they scored with the uh, five minutes left to beat us 27-24. So, you know, push up to 15. We're headed there. Both teams undefeated and playing for a championship. Like you said, this is always uh, a tight game, especially the last few years. Um, you know, Missouri Valley, six wins so far this season. You know, what's been going well for them? Well, you look at the stats offensively, they're putting up a lot of numbers. They've got good backs, got a good offensive line, they're running the ball well. They've been through some quarterback issues from an injury standpoint. They've played three different guys. So that's always tough on an offense. Uh, defensively, they look like they've gotten better through the year. Uh, you know, they're always good on defense. Monty does a good job as their defensive coordinator, so they're going to be tough to move it against. Uh, you know, the big glaring stat, and it'll be the, the factor in this game, is turnover margin. We're leading the country in turnover margin at like nine, plus 19. I think they're down at the bottom at minus 14. You know, so from a standpoint, uh, that still is the cru crucial stat when it comes down to two teams playing each other that are very similar, whoever wins that stat usually wins the game. You know, in your time here at Baker, turnover margin has been very important. You know, that's something you've um, brought to the attention of the team. You know, what is it about your, your coaching philosophy and your style that, that, you know, your teams are always near the top in turnover margin? Well, I, I think Coach Regalado on offense does a great job of stressing ball protection. Coach Young with his running backs, ball protection. So we're very aware of it and what it can do to you in a game. And then, you know, on defense, we, we practice taking the ball away. We practice celebrating. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the, the ball's at the bottom of a pile, and who knows what you, who's has it. But, I mean, if you're pointing in that direction and you believe you got it, you usually got it, and the rest believe you got it. So, uh, you know, we, we, we create those scenarios. And our guys are ball hawks. As you can see this year, our defensive backs have 23 interceptions, and we've caused 14 fumbles that we've recovered. So our guys are aware of it, and I think we do a really good job of blocking for each other on a turnover. You know, if you look at a lot of our, we got a lot of good returns. Uh, it's something we stress. It's something you highlight because I think through the, through the age of football, if you look at that one stat, it determines wins and losses. Uh, very rare you have more turnovers than the opponent and you win. Uh, so it's something real important. And, and uh, you know, to lead the nation, which we've done twice and we're doing it now, that tells you you're having a pretty good season. Looking back on that 2013 game at Missouri Valley, there were 20 punts in that game. Um, you know, and that was one of the, the key victories in your time here at Baker. You know, what, what does your offense need to do against such a stout defense and, and try and, you know, push the ball, get first downs? Yeah, you know, we're going to walk a fine line. We, we are a spread them, throw it team, uh, which could cause some of those situations to turn it over. But we feel like that's how we gain momentum. We feel like that's how we wear you out. And uh, that's, that's who we are. So, 
Uh, we're going to continue to do that, and, and hopefully we're, we're very successful. But we're not going to get into a punch-it-out game uh, with Missouri Valley. They're, they're going to pound it at us, and they've got two receivers they can throw it to. And we're going to throw the ball to our multiple receivers, and hopefully our O line at some point takes it, takes the game over, and we can run the ball as well. And uh, but we got to score touchdowns. You know, the game two years ago there came down to field goals, and uh, I like our kickers. Uh, I like our kicker going and catching touchdowns as well. Uh, but uh, if it comes down to that, and he's got to make a kick, he'll make it. Well, Coach, thank you very much. Good luck Saturday. Thank you.